Welcome back, everybody. Soul Calibur 6. Hybrid of Souls mode. We did Train Attack 1 last time, so now we'll do Train Attack 2. During our time together, Master Drona reminisced about this time, about his time training. Offense is not about attacking wildly. In order to claim victory against a skilled foe, you must know when and where to use. What technique? So let your lesson... <laughs> let us begin your lesson! Okay, here's scattering. Who's gonna be attacking? Let's just ignore that. Attacking your opponent as they perform certain actions will activate a counter hit, which can increase the damage and or number of hits you do. Attacking as the opponent begins their attack will activate an attack counter, while attacking as they move will activate a run counter. Yeah, this, that's where you start dealing massive damage. What the heck? Why won't it give me Angel Step? What the hell? How am I missing? There we go. It's freaking... It's a Ruby Sand. That didn't count as a counter hit. Are you kidding me? It must have been too slow. That one definitely should. Yeah, that dodges verticals. There we countered with our one. <laughs> Yeah, this is huge for Cassandra's stance. Certain attacks will send yellow streaks of lightning through your opponent, causing them to stagger and enter a stunned state. Attacking a stunned opponent provides counter effects, and following up with different stun attacks can initiate a stun combo. Become stunned by your opponent. Okay, there we did it. Yep. Eaten turf. Crushing an opponent's guard. Continue to attack your opponent as the guard will cause your opponent's health gauge to begin flashing yellow and eventually red. Attacking your opponent while it's red will crush their guard. That's not always true. There's a, it has to be like deep red. And how you tell the difference is quite difficult. It always has been so caliber. Leaving them vulnerable and providing your attacks with counter benefits. Also, they can do stuff that will increase their gauge too, which makes this really annoying. Crush your opponent's guard. Luckily he can't bring out, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I did the wrong follow-up counter there. Oh, that'll look cool. I was trying to do the, um, lethal hit. L landing attacks under certain Ah, uh, here's lethal hits right here. Landing attacks under certain conditions, for example, pressing... Grapple, interesting. No, left bumper. When... Countering a reversal edge will register your attacks as a lethal hit. Successfully performing a lethal hit will slow your opponent down, giving you a chance to follow up attacks more easily. Okay, this is I'll show you what he's talking about here. Wait, what's stand still? Boom, it's that. That is always a lethal hit, every character. Boom. That we could probably try to learn more, but it's so close to range, it's very difficult. That now kind of take a better punish, but I probably should just throw armor with that. But it's so hard to have the timing right and be close enough when they do it. A list of the various conditions that attacks that can be triggered, that that can trigger lethal hits for each character can be found in the move list. Yeah, they're vastly different. You've grown more skilled. But as you continue to advance, you will no doubt eventually find yourself against a seemingly insurmountable wall. Let me tell you a story from my past. No, that's okay, you don't have to. When I was young, I traveled the world as an <laughs> itinerant itinerant warrior. I don't know what that is. One day, I was in the distant north of the mining empire in a place called Sujun. 
I told Jonah that Suchin was in the southwest of the Ming Empire, but he simply looked at me puzzled. <laughs> That's the scam. Is it really? Well, when it, wherever it may be, I was there. And let, let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. It was during my time with them that I met Hun, Hun Hyu. Hun Hyu was a powerful and beautiful young woman. Her slender limbs wielded a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attacks, nimbly moving like a young willow tree in the breeze. I immediately fell in love with her instead. <laughs> However, she told me she could never love me unless I could beat her in combat. In a contest of strength, I beat her easily, but her defense was impenetrable. My attacks were blocked, paired, or avoided. I couldn't even touch her. That was because I had not yet learned how to pierce a talented foe's defense. I learned a thing or two since then, such as the effectiveness of throws against an opponent who rarely lets their guard down, and there was a special technique that break through any guard. But back then, she defeated me, and she had no interest in the weak. I left trained... Uh, I left trained as hard as I could, and eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, she had already wed another. <laughs> this dude, man. If you ever pass through Suchin, it would do well to see her skills for yourself. I'm sure the experience will come in handy. Fine to take his advice to heart. I left the dojo. Let's get the heck out of here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That'll do it for this episode. May your tale eternally be retold.